hello friends welcome back in this quick demonstration we are going to talk about the number grid so what's going on here is I have dropped my tool here it's called 369 L3 magical square pivot timer that's a mouthful but uh, what this does it takes the sequence of numbers and there are nine numbers and we have a rotation so I'm doing a circular dance of these numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine one and I'm going and saying give me some specific jumps here in the sequence six one eight seven five three two nine four and I'm also saying to use the one three and nine harmonic ratios and once I do that I just get two hotspots right here you can see I can move this tool this is giving us the picture the fingerprint of the numbers one three and nine in the contained square of numbers circle is a square because there's a conversion factor you can convert square into a circle very easily so that's what we have done we have contained the matrix of numbers from a circular dance to a square dance and we are showing how the energy is bouncing inside this contained square or you can also say a cube and we want to see what happens once we get that information so I'm going to just uh, move these two hotspots from high to low to high to low and see what are we expecting to see in this phenomena and what I'm expecting to see is the market turns when these circles are experienced so I have this circle and this circle all the other circles they're going to give us a reversal in terms of timing the pivot I'm saying when market is going wherever it is going when it hits this level it's going to change the direction right here when I'm saying market is going to just keep on going when it hits my circle again it was going down it hit the circle it changed the direction it was going down hit by circle it had changed the direction this is ES 5 minute chart it was going up it found my circle endpoint and it changed the direction that's the beauty of this unknown world as you can see here all right so let's move forward so this whole day based on this swing based on this initial swing right here right based on this point I just described to you the dance the universe offers right all right so we took this high and low and let's maybe move to the next high this one looks very interesting right we can move the pivots to pivot and this is so we go from this low to this high I see this pivot shows up market was going sideways and it moved down as you can see very clearly at this point right here boom market was just early morning chopping some probably news day it was going down it reversed got it all right so I think let's move forward so let's pick this one was high to low and see what we find market was going somewhere going somewhere it came up to this point vertically now this is very volatile in terms of whole day it did nothing look at this chop anyway but you can see the chop at the top <laughs> is picked up chop the bottom is picked up by this circle it's just dancing to this wonderful unseen world now this is the true prophecies laws of nature numbers 
not lie. All right, so we see also this was Sunday and this is Monday. We can also draw some very extreme when we see the market is opening up and Monday has transpired or Tuesday high and low is experienced. We can also have these lines going, helping us. Some trend lines are showing up. All right. So this is how you can extend things, get smart about it. You need to get some experience with all these things. And you got to meditate a lot. More you do, more you understand. These are not found in any books and colleges for the reason. These are just observation from the universe, right? It's not a super secret, but it is given to those who love the universe. That's my motivation for meditating. All right, so let's go. I think, uh, what did we get here? I distract myself by getting off topic. All right, so this is the high and the low, and let's do this one. What happens here, right? Same thing. This one. The market was going down, this guy moved it up, pushed it up, and this guy pushed it, whatever it was, let's see. Market was trying to go up, it pushed it up high again, it is just going to reverse it. Market was going down, this guy on the bottom reversed it. Even the small, small swings are the dance of these numbers, you can see this. So where did I pinpoint my pivots? Right here. And you can see here, this guy also picked up the top. Even though this was really a nasty day, chopped off. All right, so let's pick this high. All right, so if I take this high and low, what happens here? We'll see the same thing is going to happen here. This picked up this high. Right? The same thing high. Double tops are coming here. Very small. It's a 5 minute chart in 25 times between 20 and 30 minutes. It made this uh, aggressive double top. But this was all coming from this guy. Right here. Right? Okay. Let's move forward. I think you're getting the idea now. Let's make a bigger swing. So I took this and took this. This is right here. Market was going up and down. Circle came. It was going down into the circle. It reversed. It was going down, 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 and it reversed. Right? All right. What else we got here? Market was going up, up, up into the end point, and it reversed here. It was going up into this, it reversed here. I mean, do I control this? Am I magical? No, these are the laws of nature. What am I doing here? Nothing. I'm just the astute observer of the laws of nature, which is the ultimate truth. Ultimate truth. And this tool was observed in, I would say, 2017, six years. Right? I just never showed it. Nothing has changed. Because we want to make sure that these are not just wild, wild west observations. These are true, natural, loving laws. The truth. The truth. All right. So if we had that beam going from there, we get one more beam going from there. It seems like market is naturally projecting to go in that direction. Right? All right. So this lot 
of application what we are here gathered today for the timer so let's keep going almost there so okay from this high and low this guy came it picked up the low market was going up and down and this guy was introduced in the system it went up this was going down this guy showed up he went up this guy was going up this guy showed up on the top was predicted this guy was going up this guy came showed up and it reversed it i'm just doing pivot to pivot all right i think we got this pivot now this time we already got this pivot many times which one is this so let's check it out This was the low. So we got this high, we got this low based on this guy. We got this high right here. And the day is over. And this was the high, my tiny high. It doesn't tell you how far deep down it's going to move. We have other tools for those things. These are just the pivot point reflection point. In, ti in time we have around 38 40 tools like these i think it will take a while to show all the, those phenomena but they all come through natural laws all right i'm just making some observations here what do we do next we move forward we are almost there so I think we got all these vibration points. Now you could you could do this tactical trading using hedging and lots of ways to trade the market. I think uh, what should I do now? Well, this guy showed up here. This guy showed up here, right? So we are. This is what one thing is going on is this is now getting off exhausted a little bit so let's adjust this so what the the other question is you know there's so many pivots shall i pick this one this one this one this one this one this is where you can have the zigzag tool introduced in the system which is mathematically correct way of representing the math behind the pivots All right, so I put it here and here. So one thing sometimes I do is just let it play out a little bit and see if it is uh, curve fitting. It's called curve fitting. So if it is fitting one of the circles, then I can trust it. So here market came was coming down. This guy held it. This guy made the top. This guy made the bottom right here. This one was the bottom. This one was the top. This one was the top. This one was the top again depending on how you traded it it could have been a bottom too it was a very aggressive move here some news came i guess came down okay so it held and now this is where i think you can get even smarter right here is the price and this is where we have the time so the time and price met right here so i would have tested this waited for this guy okay and there's a lot of applications if you do the horizontal across these lines they also give you support and resistance right here if i do horizontal observation of this and this is a support so there are two kinds of supports coming in here let me just put it see man these are the research elements you need you need to get into anybody can there's nothing unique i am doing here just a demo of the laws of nature no one owns these laws all right so let's try this last move this was took this pivot see what shows it shows this one the top was picked up 
Now, if you remember, the beams are going here, right? Now, this beam is going there. We also have the top coming here. All right, and this bottom coming here. This is end of the week. So what we can do is again same thing as I told you these beams are just showing the same points in so many ways it is just coming down to the same conclusion so this was a little tricky let's uh, zoom in and refresh it it could have been So that's the thing with geometry. So now let me tell you what chart I have this uh, on. This is manual, right? If I square it, 12 by 3, and I refresh it. So because we are dealing with geometrical shapes, we want to really make sure that we are using the right geometry. So this tool is going to get superimposed on your squared chart. And this is a square. This itself is a square. So if you change the squaring, you can see as I change my squaring, the things change, right? But this is an overlay. So you got that, right? So, okay. So that's what uh, this all thing is all about. So once you have your chart, when you start doing your dynamics, just uh, don't move it. <laughs> that is, I think, one thing uh, we have to deal with this because the shapes change. As you squeeze the chap apple shape, right, x and y axis, we got to get the right square. Got to have the right square. As you can see now, geometry has changed because of re-squaring the chart. Anyway, so I think I showed you enough for this uh, tool and uh, the beauty of this tool is we have the opportunity to change the numbers and the sequencing and the circuitry which is confining the energy inside the cube and different shapes will show up and they all work. I just gave you one combination of the shape 139 jump. Why? Because we are. 369forecast.com after all thank you so much